OK, so this is a piece of work called Till Rolls, and it's actually made from um, 10,000 till rolls, the things that go in the tills that give us our receipts and our records of all the hundreds of thousands of transactions that go on every day in commerce. The piece of work was um, sculpted um, prior to the actual making. So every single one of the uh, till rolls is mapped uh, on a grid. Because when we build this work in the gallery, we invite lots of people to come in and, and help build it. Um, and when we were building this piece, we had up to about 45 people overall who came and offered time and days work helping build this structure. Dr. Ertu Unver and I worked together on, on developing um, a way of working with this piece of work um, so that people could work independently when we were actually building it in the gallery. So what we actually did is worked on a 3D imaging programme which I'd never come across before, which obviously Ertu knows a lot about. Um, and he, he showed me how to sculpt the form in space. So this was very different for me from working with clay or usual materials in the studio. I was actually working in a virtual way, which again brings in questions about authorship, because the virtual world asks you to operate in particular ways. So you have to adapt to its structure. So in a sense, that has some authorship as well. Ertu himself, as a collaborator on, on how we might do this, it became a design problem really, also has input. From the 3D model, we uh, developed grids or graphs in which it uh, allowed each row of this piece of work to be broken down um, and presented in graph form. Now we took those graphs and we put them around the sides of the gallery and we stuck on the wall a large tape measure, three metres high, which is the height of the, the tallest um, till roll in the, in the piece of work. And this allowed everybody to measure the exact height of each, each one of the 10,000 till rolls so that the piece of work can be replicated. And the piece is, is, it exists here, but it also at the moment exists in Venice. And of course, though the, the structure's taken from the same blueprints, the same grids, it actually produces a different piece of work every time. So we have a different form of repetition there too. So what you're seeing here is um, layers and layers of the, the graphs building one on top of the other and then going back again to a single graph that actually show the whole structure represented in a two-dimensional plane. Um, and this is only really possible through working in, in conjunction with the, with the 3D imaging. Because it was made in this particular way, we're able to layer it up uh, to form this sort of moving image that also gives an insight into the process of how the piece was devised. Um, the peaks and troughs don't particularly represent anything. Um, I had nothing in my mind when I was looking at the piece of work opposite representation. But what I was thinking of was the fact that a, a process, a simple process of pulling out um, um, the center of a till roll could be repeated 10,000 times and produce a different effect each time. So the work as a whole starts to sculpt that idea of difference and change through uh, the process of production. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.